In this video, I'm going to be teaching you why a lot of pro Madden players like to run short side bunch as opposed to wide side bunch because of how much more easy um, it is to attack zone defense with short side floods. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to learn my entire uh, gun bunch offensive ebook, there is a link in the description to join my Patreon. That's where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Um, we've got over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks available in the Patreon. We just dropped a brand new offense yesterday. So if, again, if you want to check it out, the link is down below. So why is it that people like to run wide side or short side bunch? Well, actually, really simple. Um, I think people should be running wide or short side bunch. It's not even really a conversation. It's because of what I'm about to show you um, out of bunch. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put your, you know, whoever you want to run your corner out in there. And um, we're going to have a couple plays. We're going to go over bench pivot. We're going to go over uh, Z spot. And then I do have power master in case I want to show you another corner route as well. But anyways, the bottom line is the corner routes are just much better to the short side than to the wide side. So what you're going to notice here is I'm in cover four. I'm going to put my streak to Steve Smith. And basically what you will see is this outside quarter defender is going to defend this corner route really well as you can see right there he's going to pick it off and take that ball away so you almost can't throw that and really what you have to do if you want to run short or uh, your bunch to the wide side of the field is you basically have to motion this player out so that he can then be a clear out for you to throw that ball you know to cooper cup right there and you got to hope that they don't have zone knockout abilities because zone knockout abilities are going to be another problem uh, with wide side bunch is the fact that the zone KOs have more time to be able to get uh, to the defender. So you have to kind of pass lead it a special way. Now I'm going to run this with my bunch to the short side. So we're just going to move the ball to the right hash. And you're going to notice a completely different experience. I'm going to cover four. I'm going to streak Steve Smith. And what you're going to notice is I can throw this all day long against a KO or not a KO. I could throw that all day um, to the short side. Now, even if they baseline, even if they press, I can throw this. You're gonna notice the quarter is gonna suck into this dude, pass lead that down, and it's open to the sideline, okay? So as you can see, the corner routes are significantly better to the short side of the field than they are to the wide side of the field. And that is part of why it's important. I'm gonna give you another reason why it's important here in just a second, but here's cover three. You see the basically the same exact behavior. Compression is really good for attacking man and zone this year. Um, I think compression sets in general, bunch, gun tight, um, those are two really good formations. And so you see with, very, uh, with, with a lot of ease, we can attack really easy to that side. Now, the other reason is you put your solo receiver over here on the wide side of the field. Now, when the solo receiver is on the wide side of the field, what you're going to notice is if I put a C route and a wheel route, these seam wheels do a really good job of clearing out zones to the wide side. So what you're going to notice is this wheel is going to clear out that zone, and I can throw that C route, and I have a lot more space for my C route to be able to work against man and zone. Not only that, but also, if I let's say I want to run a skinny post. So let's say I want to run, um, you know, like a bunch trail concept something like this okay you're going to notice here especially against like cover three when you run a post from the wide side of the field to the short side of the field they tend to run better because they now have an ability to get into a really soft spot as you can see right there as a potential cover three beater so there's really a lot of benefit to running your bunch to the short side. Not only does it put you in a position where your corner routes are going to be more effective, but you're also in a position where you can do stuff like this. And now, if they're in cover three, even if they're in cover four, you could potentially get a one-play touchdown over the top because your post has more space to be able to work. Okay, So that is why, in my opinion, I think in a lot of people's opinion, it makes a lot of sense to run your bunch to the short side, generally speaking, not always, but generally speaking. So if I was on the left hash mark, all I would need to do 
is just flip my play. You'll see here, here's that cover three beater again from the post. Wide open, if he catches it, he's not gonna, of course, but it's wide open to the post. The other thing that you get now, now I also wanna show you one last thing here. Let's say that I wanted to, um, let's say that I wanted to run mesh post. Another little piece, um, another little piece to consider is I wanna run mesh post, right? And I wanna use it to beat cover three. Streak, um, C route, you know, and then whatever you want to do. You'll see here that streak doesn't suck in that middle third as good because our bunch is to the short side. So there are some scenarios where if you run this, if you want to run this play, right, when you want to run a post, you ideally want to be on this hash. So there are some scenarios where bunch to the wide side makes more sense. So you'll see right here against cover three, this will be pretty decent. Right in that little pocket. Um, there's also situations, like I said, where you want to be the short side. And generally speaking, it just has to do with are you running a corner out or a post. You want to run your posts from the wide side to the short side. And you want to run your corner routes on the short side. So you see here's bench pivot. And you'll see that this corner route to the tight end is going to get a ton of, of really good separation against zone to the short side of the field. Now, you know, and, and again, the same thing with the backside post. The backside post, the crosser from verticals also is a great another another great example. It's going to get deeper down the field, and the zones are going to clear out a lot more. So you can now throw it in that little area. Okay, obviously if they have KOs, they have KOs. But you know, if, if you're playing a double Mabel, this can become a really really good play because these post routes and this this stuff will run, you know, deep 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 down the field. Gives them more space for the crossers. And it also makes these corners, specifically the one at a Z spot, much better when you run it with your bunch to the short side of the field. If you want to learn my entire bunch offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is in the description. $10 to sign up. It gets you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We're also dropping a brand new defense this week, which I'm actually really excited about. We got a preview of it coming up later today. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.